Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up the Lometric Time. So the details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I purchased this one over Black Friday. Generally, the price is ridiculously high. It's normally around 150 to 180 pounds in the UK. I saw it briefly drop to 127 pounds. So I thought, let me give it a go because it never seems to drop anything below that. So I've got an existing Echo Show in my setup. So I wanted to upgrade to this so it could show my subscriber count and also use it just to see the time. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly run through them one by one. You get two bits of documentation, a quick start guide and legal and compliance information. You get a charging cable. One end is USB-A to micro USB and surprise they're not really moved over to type C yet. Cable length is 135 centimeters. You get a power brick and output on this is five volts, two amps and it comes with additional adapters on here. So it's just a matter of taking this and it's this way around and pushing it off. And then you can put in the relevant one for your country. So in the UK, we use this type. So I'll just push that on and that's it. Now coming on to the Lometric time device, in terms of dimensions, it's 20 centimeters by six centimeters and three and a half centimeters deep. It's got three buttons at the top. The side ones are for navigation and the middle one is to select an action. You've got an ambient light sensor over here and the device itself can adjust the brightness of the display according to the light in the room. Coming over to the side, you've got a speaker over here, power button, and then coming over to the other side, another speaker and volume up and down. Looking at the back, you've got a micro USB connection point for charging the device and you've got an audio output, which is 3.5 mil jack on this. Now coming underneath, it's all rubber underneath this to avoid it slipping on a surface. Build quality wise, very plasticky, matte black finish all the way around. And to be quite honest, doesn't have a majorly premium feel to it. One thing to note, it doesn't have a battery in there either. So it's powered via the connection at the back. And if you pull that out, obviously it's gonna cut out. So let's make a start at getting this connected up. So the power brick's plugged in at the side and I've turned on the power there and the micro USB connection point goes in at the back. Once you plug it in, that's what you see appear, the metric. And I guess it's initializing now. Okay, so I guess it's at the stage where it needs to be set up via the app now. Let's make a start at setting up the device. So now I'm at my Android phone. If I go to the Play Store and the app we're after is Lometric Time. So I'll install that, click open. Let's sign up and let me enter my credentials in off camera. Okay, so we've signed up, we've activated the account. Now we're getting this prompt and I'm gonna select don't send me news and updates. Now it's saying make sure your Lumetric time is switched on and you can see following image. And yes, I can next to that. Now it's saying go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the network with the same name you see on Lumetric time. So that's the network name there. So if I now open settings, internet may not be available. That's correct. Obviously not connected on my network. So I'll keep a Wi-Fi connection. Let's go back to the app. Next, we need to pick our Wi-Fi network to connect the device to. So it's picked up my test one here. Let me enter in my password off camera. Click next now. And there you go, added in. So you can see on the screen, it's got a tick and it's showing the time. So I'll click go. Okay, so now we're presented with this. Drag app to reorder, duplicate or delete. Tap to configure app. Tap to install new apps. Next to that. Tap to change volume, brightness or update software. Got it. And that's it. That's what we're presented with. Okay, so I've had a play around with the device and I've played around with the apps as well just to see how everything's working. And let me show you around now. So first of all, as I've gone into the device, you've got settings over here at the top. Now the first option you have on here is brightness. So if I come in there, you've got auto brightness on there. Now the way this works, the light sensor at the top just over there picks up the amount of light in the room and dims it accordingly. Now the advantage of this is if you're using it as a bedside clock, you don't have a bright light coming off there and you don't have to adjust things in the evening. So which is good. And if I turn that off, you can see for yourself, I'll put the brightness on maximum and brightness levels are very good on this. Display itself, obviously all pixelated. 
and you can see little blocks and that's the novelty of the item itself obviously if you wanted to go for a better display you could go for something like the echo show or even the google home hub for example now next thing is screensaver when dark so if i go into that you can have your screensaver kicking in to lower the brightness but or you can just turn it off so i've turned it off there and the brightness has come back so after a certain period it will just dim itself down so you can have this on or you can have it off it's up to you now coming back from there how you want text to come along so you can have it scrolling across or you can have it like typewriter style so you've seen it scroll already i'll leave it in typewriter so also you've got text speed so it's medium at the moment let's take it down so it's a little bit slower so when it goes across let's come back from there volume level so you can adjust the volume level on the speakers that are built into this see for yourself nice display on there just showing volume level and then wi-fi connectivity so you can change your wi-fi settings here region settings are there software updates so if there's any software updates available privacy so i've got these turned off at the moment legal and about standard stuff there back from there now if i come across here and the apps are shown below here so as i'm flipping across now in conjunction with this what you can do can press the button at the top to have it flipping across and going back again just to show works really well and customizing wise it's very granular on here so if i come for instance to the clock and i click again i can go into the properties of that and you can change other bits and pieces so for example the clock face if you said you want none there you go there's no picture at the side but if you wanted a picture on there or you just wanted the weather to appear you can have it like that page a day calendar there you go so you can get the date appearing now the lines at the bottom you're seeing there they're actually showing the day of the week so it's tuesday today and you can see the second one is highlighted on there coming back onto there you can do custom as well and you can see a picture of a clock at the moment and if i click there you've got other pictures you can put on so there's static pictures and there's animated ones as well so if we just go for a static one select that there you go apple logo there now if i go back in there i can pick an animated one for instance select that and there you go looks really cool coming down from there you've got clock face for holidays then you've got holiday name and then you can change the different time settings so you've got 24 hour there you can take it down to and then day of week obviously you can take that off if you didn't want to show that and if you are starting it you can change the the day of week if you want it to start from a sunday that's what you'll see then show seconds flashing separator so you see there where it's flashing you can turn that off show date and it will just flip between the two and if i go in there you can even change the date format and then you've got chime disabled at the moment so hourly chime or hourly chime plus hour beeps if i click on alarms and with this you can set up a time say when you want it to repeat on a daily basis or just a one-off obviously your sound or you can have the radio coming on when you wake up lots available in there really surprised didn't expect this much functionality from this now coming back from this app going into weather just as another example you can change the different values in this back again from there and what i wanted it for was the subscriber counts if i click on there now what i liked about the subscriber count side of things is the fact that i can just search for my channel and that's it i don't need to log in or anything and that was really good what they've got here but what i didn't like about the instagram side of things so i've got a instagram following as well you have to log in for this so going in there i've had to log in with my account don't really see why i should have to do that obviously my profile on instagram is open to the public it's not restricted in any way so it should just really pick it up it would be the best way to do it now as well as that you've got additional options in here so when it appears on the screen you can get the account name appearing short numbers if i click on that just summarizes the numbers if you didn't want to see the full value there and then notifications if i click on that you can have notifications for positive sounds and negative sounds so every time you for instance gain a follower or lose a follower you, you can get a beep happening so that's pretty cool i thought and it does work so i have tested that out now coming back from there going back into the subscriber counter similar thing here obviously you can turn off the channel name so if i come onto it I go 
back again it just goes straight to subscribe account now if i turn on the channel name go back onto it geek street appears you can see and then it goes on to subscribe account abbreviated numbers so this is a bit rubbish it's not their fault it's actually youtube's fault so if i go to that it shows a rounded number so youtube have rounded all their numbers so you don't see an exact figure bit irritating only because it'd be nice to see the counter either going up or down and then if i go back to abbreviated number scroll down notify so you can have a positive sound or negative sound when there's a, a gain or a loss and again it shows when to notify on what amount so one two ten thousand for instance okay turning that off come back from there next thing to show is you can add in other additional apps so there's lots of apps available in here if i give it a moment to start up there you go apps we love going in there i'll briefly scroll down just to show that's all that we have there then you've got newest apps it's nice they've got a good selection here and coming back again top rated okay back again categories the different categories for this so i didn't expect it to have this many apps but interesting to see it has got quite a few now coming back from there and adding them in is as simple as literally just click it add it you can see it adding it in there and now it's added we can come back come back again and you see it appear as simple as that clicking on there click again you can go into properties so this will notify you if there's any new apps available and if you want to get rid of it just hold on to it and you can come over to delete to delete it now in terms of display you've got click to scroll apps and what that means you've got to click the button to scroll between the different apps and the values you're seeing on here now if you wanted to auto scroll if i now click on this scroll across show by schedule so this is good because you can have a schedule for certain days certain time periods to go to a certain app on here so you can see the apps in there you can just say oh i want the weather and click on time and this can give you the time when you want that app to appear so if you know for instance in the mornings you want the time and then after that perhaps you want to go onto a different app your subscriber account or any other apps you have available like the weather you can flip over to them now coming back from here and moving that up scrolling across again auto scroll apps so this will automatically scroll between each of the apps after a certain interval coming across again show one app and this will lock in the app so it won't show the others and won't allow you to change either so for example if i've got it selected now if i press the button though it's locked so you can't flip around with it i did see insta oh i did see instagram for a second hang on okay so it allowed me to show instagram for some reason so it does sort of work i guess so that's quite nice having that now coming back in there radio and this is another interesting one because there is internet radio options on here so if i click on that you can pick your stations so you've got a selection there and you can just search for whatever you want click on there i'll just type in bbc and you can just pick your station from there and then coming back from there the number here is increased and there we have it and if i hold on to it you can delete it from here as well let's try one out so if i click there let's flip over can't go back there you go you're off to university and i'm stuck out here for the rest of my life working well now one thing to know speakers are very tiny on this sound quality is reasonable i wouldn't say it was any sort of amazing sound quality from this but it's a nice option to have the fact you can do this on there you've also got the option to have a sleep timer so you could have the radio on for a short period the device doesn't have a bluetooth option so you can't stream music directly from your phone onto it obviously it hasn't got the greatest speaker but you've got the audio out jack so you could plug it into a separate system via a line in cable now clicking over here you've got additional options available so stream music so if you had a spotify account you can stream music via it and then you've got phone notifications so you can get notifications from your phone coming onto the device as well so there you go i hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this device i think the functionality you get out of this is absolutely phenomenal lots of options available on there and the fact if you get any new apps you can add in additional functionality on here the only major negative for me is the price i think the price is just ridiculous 
The price of 150 pounds for this is not justified at all. The build quality of it doesn't have a real premium feel to it. If it had better speakers and more of a solid feel to it, then maybe I could say yes, but for this sort of price, you could literally buy a Bose speaker, but the Bose speaker obviously wouldn't have this sort of display on there. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details including purchasing links are in the description below. Hang around for the end cards for some more cool tech. Drop me a like if you've liked this video and let me know what you thought of the device. You thinking of buying it? Would you buy it? Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.